In this video, we'll discuss maintenance and troubleshooting tips, such as common connectivity errors and alignment of the screen. As we said in the previous section, it's basically just a PC with a monitor. So each morning when you come in, the first thing you do is you make sure your PC is on. You look for the blue light, make sure that you have power. Now it's possible that it may be in hibernation mode. In that case, it would be a yellow blinking light. You would hit it one time to bring it out of hibernation and the PC should come up. If it doesn't come up, you just restart the PC and let it come up. The second thing you look for is on your monitor, you'll see a button that looks exactly like this. That's exactly what this button looks like on this system tray. If it's amber, then it's not on. Just hit the button one time and it should come up to green. One thing to keep in mind is this is a projector, just like what you would normally carry around from office to office, right? The old fashioned style. Um, if you turn this thing off, Before you can turn it back on, there's a fan that always runs in the back cooling that bulb. It won't allow you to turn it back on until that fan goes off. So we'll give it a couple of seconds. The fan just went off. This light. Turn it back on. It'll come up, system. And the board will come back on. It's just like a projector. The old type projector. You gotta let that fan go off before you can turn it back on. Once you have a green status light on your monitor, you should have the desktop. If you don't have the desktop, if it looks something like this, then what has happened is somebody at some point in time has mashed this button. Now, instead of, there's different ways, just like normal monitors, Sometimes it may be a VGA connection. Sometimes it may be an HDMI connection. Uh, but at some point, someone has hit this third button and has switched it to a different type of connection other than VGA1, which is our usual standard. You'll also notice that the status light has gone to red. Anytime you have a status light of red, that means there's no communication between the board and the PC. The first thing you should check is look in the bottom left hand corner. This should say VGA1. If it doesn't say VGA1, hit the third button, pause, until you get to VGA1. Let it sit there. The biggest thing that people do is they panic and they just steadily hit the button and don't give it time for it to synchronize. VGA1, give it a little time. Should come back up for you. So another situation we've seen, another possible failure point, is we've got our PC on, we've got our smart board on, we've got a green status light, we've checked and we've got a VGA1 as our connection, but we still don't have a desktop. The final possibility is that using this I.O. gear, you can switch from a laptop to a PC, and we'll cover that in a separate section. But it has a switch, usually located next to the lap, to the uh, smart board. You click that one time, give it a couple of seconds, your smart board should come up. All right, so there'll be situations where you've got your PC on, you've got your smart board on, the desktop is up, but you look down and you see that this indicator light is red. What that means is there's no communication as far as touch between the smart board and the PC. It'll still function. You can, you can go ahead and you can open up using the mouse, you can open up different applications and what have you. But as far as the, the touch portion of it, that won't function. In order to fix that, the first thing you need to do is you need to check your USB connection in the back. This communicates to the PC for the touch through the USB. Pull the USB out, plug the USB back in. Give it a few seconds. If you still don't get a green light, 
The next thing to do is the same thing they tell you whenever you call tech support. It reboot your PC. Go ahead and shut it down, give it a few seconds, start it back up, and see whether or not everything comes up to green. We've covered making sure the PC's on, turning on the smart board, looking for the status light, how to resolve a red status light. We've also looked at making sure it's on the proper connection, which would be VGA1. We've covered shutting down the board, making sure that you have enough time for the fan to run, and then being able to start it back up. This concludes maintenance and troubleshooting tips. Next we'll discuss hooking up your laptop to the smartphone.